to uh, welcome you to uh, our meeting tonight. Um, I would like to uh, begin uh, with the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Okay, I pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one, one nation under God, under God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Um, we do have one special report tonight. And uh, Kevin, uh, I'm sure you're here. I just don't see you. Is Kevin going to be doing the construction report tonight? I went on uh, here. I came in. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't see you there. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Kevin. Um, just, we're ready just for you. On. That's all right. Don't worry. Can everyone see my screen? Uh, yep. Yes. Okay, perfect. So this is uh, March's Board of Ed update. Um, just going to run through each of the phases where construction is currently active and ongoing. Um, so over at the middle school, uh, you know, substantially complete with a uh, <clears throat> majority of the construction. Um, the most recent activities have been focused on punch list. Um, so as you can see by the screen, uh, 1,100 items issued to date, um, 158 items closed, 143 items remain open. So we're at 87% complete. Um, all these items are currently scheduled uh, for completion during April break, apart from, uh, so we have some work in the art wing that will um, pick up again after school's out. Uh, that was a change order for the spray booth, as well as some mechanical revisions to the piping uh, in the boiler room that will uh, commence after the heating season is over, um, more towards the end of school, um, especially after, after May. Um, but we've been uh, coordinating that with uh, Brian Kraft and his team uh, to, to make sure that everyone's in the loop. Um, just a, a small side note, um, I know where we currently reside behind the middle school um, is really applicable to all phases um, as a construction management firm. However, our trailer is, our trailer area, I should say, is scheduled for uh, demo uh, starting the first week, first and second week of April. So um, the trailer that's back there will be torn down. Um, all the uh, the lay down area, all the stockpiles, materials, all the uh, the connex boxes and C boxes you see back there will be removed as well to allow uh, allow for the uh, the final ball field to be constructed uh, in other JV field behind the middle school. Uh, that's slated to start all uh, site work to <coughs> following uh, uh, the end of April. So over at the phase two elementary schools, um, similar to the middle school, we have a lot of, uh, we had a lot of punch list activities ongoing. Um, we're a lot further along there. You can see 98% complete. Um, the, all the uh, remaining open items are scheduled for completion during April break. There's a couple of miscellaneous sidewalk panels and a couple of uh, areas that have to get touched up with uh, blacktop as well as uh, you know, some, some miscellaneous pavers. It's all, all exterior work, but that should be uh, all substantially complete by the end of um, April break. Moving along to the high school, um, we've made a lot of progress up on the, uh, the second floor of area E. However, um, if you're walking into the, into the high school, the, the new addition just went on. Uh, we were, if, I don't know if everyone remembers, but we were kind of, um, we had some constraints regarding the weather and the exterior metal wall panels, as well as finishing the brick. Um, there's, there's limitations to, uh, to what can be installed uh, at certain temperatures. So now that we have a stretch of good weather coming up, we have the, uh, the furring for the insulated metal wall panels that'll be uh, going on over the next couple of weeks with the panels to follow. Um, you know, the exterior work is gonna start to pick up as we get closer to the end of school here, um, I sent a notice out to uh, um, to Scott and Kathy and Brian and his team 
um, just regarding the, uh, the the trees along the Bison Boulevard entrance uh, to the high school. Bass Hatfield plans on planting them during April break as well. Um, so might start to uh, see more stuff going up. Um, you know, bringing in bringing in some uh, some additional trees there. Um, but just getting back into the renovation work inside the building up on the second floor. So they've continued with drywall, taping, spackling, MEPs have continued. Um, you know, I've been trying to get the same photos in the same spots every single month. So I don't know if you remember the last board meeting, but uh, there was a lot of uh, metal studs that were still shown with wood blocks in the walls. Now you can see all the walls are uh, they're framed, they're, they're rocked, they're, they're coated. You know, we got paint going on. And actually over the next couple of weeks, uh, ceiling installs scheduled um, light fixtures and they'll be ripping out the uh, the temporary light fixtures that you see in the photo on the left and right hand side of the screen. Um, they're able to get to a vast majority of the, uh, the finished work in the in the bathroom as well as uh, you know they have the flooring scheduled for the next couple of weeks as well. So a lot of interior finishes are starting to come together. Um, which is which is exciting. We've been able to uh, to take advantage of, of getting up in that area, and it's it's relatively well. Um, so they had some some previous work activities that, that were also completed. There was some additional ba abatement work that was completed up there. Um, we had some new hollow metal frames and glazing install. You can see along the right hand side of the screen, um, and also the uh, the mechanical systems continued with the installation of the VRS system. And, you know, that, that'll continue through the end of April. Um, they'll go to as far as they can without jumping to the north side, which is where the, uh, the nurse suite is right now. So um, once, once school is out, we'll be able to, to jump to the other side to, uh, to finish up the second floor renovations. The fire alarm and security upgrades continue. Um, so including uh, data, and security wiring throughout all the, the renovation areas on the second floor. So some previous month activities include IDF panels as well as wiring throughout the building. Um, we have some the new fire alarm system and upgrades are scheduled to be uh, completed at the end of this summer as we have been reporting. Um, so all the, uh, all the camera work is, uh, is completed with the exception of the exterior cameras, which is uh, slated to uh, happen after um, after a pre-construction meeting and during the April break. Shifting gears over to the phase four elementary schools. So we had work that, that continued um, at Latham Ridge on second shift. As you can see, um, we have finishes in place, drywall, um, ceilings are going in right now. You can see the at the addition, they got the, uh, the bathroom tile, the floor and the uh, ceramic wall tile. Um, so with ceiling going in, you have light fixtures in that follow that. Uh, you also have um, tie-ins that are actually out in the corridor, which can happen until after school. So we're going to progress this addition as far as we can, um, you know, with the exception of the work that goes out into the corridor, which then the contractors will be able to uh, take advantage of once school is out. And <coughs> to the high school we'll have um, insulated metal wall panel layout and furring installation ongoing here as well. So over at Forts Ferry Elementary School um, along that exterior portion of the cafe addition um, the contract the general contractor will have their insulated metal wall panel contractor there as well um, you know doing layout for for installation um, not only that, but then there's also activities that are, are currently in the process of being uh, scheduled for over April break, inc including abatement of uh, the crawl space that's currently below the cafeteria, as well as uh, extends down the hallway into uh, what's out front of the, uh, the health office. Um, they're also planning structural steel work on the exterior of the building as well. That will happen over April break. Um, and some previous activities. Uh, it's been it's been relatively quiet over here, um, just due to uh, how how far the the addition was progressed um, until we can open the walls up and take over the the cafeteria. Um, those those plans are currently being 
worked on right now. Um, nothing set in stone. We're just still currently planning right now. Um, but the intent would be to try and get that cafeteria as soon as we can. Um, however, that has to be coordinated with Brian and his team. And um, we're, we're currently in the process of putting that together. So, um, and that's, that's all I had for, for the presentation. Are there any questions? Does the board have any uh, questions for uh, Kevin? Um, Mrs. Dardalillo? I just want to ask Kevin, in that one photograph where you showed uh, one of the elementary schools, I wondered what, which school that was and what are those little cubbies? It seemed to be like, oh, oh. <laughs> that's that's over at Blue Creek. Uh, that's the, the music casework. OK, nice. Yes. And I, I just want to say the front of the middle school was great. Really, 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 I nice. am really anxious to be able to see these things up close. You know, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to the time when we're able to do that. Yeah, I agree with Mrs. Nardalillo. That's a beautiful uh, entryway there. And uh, uh, actually, I'm, I'm happy to hear about trees myself. Yes. Um, uh, losing those trees along Bison Boulevard was, to me, a little bit heartbreaking. Are, are, are the trees going to line Bison Boulevard, Kevin? Well, I wasn't quite sure from what you said. Yeah, so as you're coming in, there'll be trees along the left-hand side when you first come in, and then yep. all along the right-hand side, right. there'll be there'll be a stretch of trees. Uh, great, great. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy. We'll have those laid out and, and tagged at the nursery within the next couple of weeks, right? Um, April breaks come around the corner. Yeah. And as long as the conditions allow for it, um, you know, so hopefully we don't get any more, you know, 10 degree days because I'm sure we're all, we're all tired of dealing with the cold of winter. So. Right, right. But that, I think that's great. I'll, I'll be happy to see that. Yeah, any board uh, comments or questions for Kevin? Great progress uh, uh, has been made. And uh, so uh, thank you, Kevin, for that update. Uh, you, yeah. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for having us. Thank you. Right. Uh, all right. We will move along to uh, personnel actions. I'd like a motion to approve personnel actions. Uh, I have to, uh, Mrs. Nardolillo. I move to approve personal actions as recommended by the superintendent of schools. Thank you. And a second, uh, Mr. Vondell, uh, any questions or comments? Uh, hearing none, all in favor? Thank you. Um, I'd like a motion to approve recommendations regarding placement and classification of students. Uh, let me see, Mrs. Uh, Durazio. I move approval of recommendations regarding placement, classification of students as reviewed by the district committee on preschool special education for the 2021 school year and recommendations regarding placement classification of students as reviewed by the district committee on special education for the 2021 school year as recommended by the director of pupil services. Thank you. In a second, uh, Mr. Johnson, any questions or comments? Uh, hearing none, all in favor. Thank you. I'd like a motion to approve the uh, notice of annual election and budget vote. Uh, Mrs. Pangburn. Uh, Sandy, you're on mute. Yep, sorry. <laughs> I move to approve the notice of annual election and budget vote as recommended by the Assistant Superintendent for Business. Thank you. And a second, uh, Mr. Vondell, any questions or comments? Uh, Mr. Johnson. I, we probably don't have an answer for this, but last year, because last year it came very late from the state, but do we know whether we're going to actually have in-person voting? I mean, the, the notice refers to in-person voting and absentee voting, but as far as we know, this is a normal year. The state has not said otherwise. That is correct. No. Okay. So we'll, we'll change it as it, as it changes. And uh, Ms. Dawson will be in charge of all of that. Good luck, Jane. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Uh, all, and all in favor? Thank you. Um, I'd like a, a motion to approve the proposed school calendar for 21-22. Uh, Mrs. Nardolillo? I move to approve the proposed school calendar for the 21-22 school year as recommended by the superintendent of schools. Thank you. And a second, uh, Mr. Cannon. 
Any questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor? Thank you. Um, I'd like a motion to approve the uh, North Colony Central School pandemic plan. Um, and I would, Mrs. Pangburn. I move to approve the North Colony Central School District pandemic plan as recommended by the superintendent of schools. Thank you. And a second, uh, Mr. Vondell, any questions or comments? Uh, hearing none, all in favor, thank you. I'd like a motion to approve health service contracts. Uh, health service contracts. Uh, Mrs. Nardolillo. I move to approve the health service contracts with the Saratoga Springs City School District, Scotia Glenville Central School District, South Colony Central School District, and Waterford Half Moon Union Free School District for North Colony residents attending private or parochial school in their district for the 2020-2021 school year as recommended by the Assistant Superintendent for Business. Thank you. And a second, um, a second, a second. Mr. Johnson, uh, any questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor? Thank you. I'd like a motion to approve um, a resolution to accept a donation. Uh, Mrs. Pangburn. I move to approve the resolution to accept a donation as recommended by the Assistant Superintendent for Business. Thank you. And a second. Um, a second, Mr. Johnson. Uh, any questions, comments? Hearing none, all in favor? Thank you. I'd like a motion to approve an agreement with uh, Sarah Conyers. Uh, Mrs. Nardolillo. I move to approve the agreement with Sarah Conyers as recommended by the Assistant Superintendent for Business. Thank you. And a second. Uh, second, uh, Mrs. Pangburn, any questions or comments? The only comment I would have would be uh, we're happy to have uh, Sarah um, staying with us um, uh, in whatever capacity she can, she can do. So uh, all in favor? Thank you. Um, I'd like a motion to approve change orders, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> I move to approve the following change orders. Two change orders, COR 020 and 021, totaling $16,399 to the Bast Hatfield Construction LLC contract. One change order, COR 040, in the amount $8,335 to the Bet and Kring LLC contract. One change order, COR 017, in the amount of $9,936 to Hewitt Young Electric LLC contract. And one change order, COR 083, in the amount of $11,725 to the Peter Louisi and Brothers Contracting Incorporated contract, as recommended by the Assistant Superintendent for Business. Thank you. And a second? Uh, second, uh, Mrs. Pangburn, if anyone has any questions, we have people who can answer questions here. We have Mike Andrews here and, right, Mike, there's Mike. And you have any, que any questions about the change orders? All right, all in favor? Thank you. Um, I'd like a motion to approve the establishment of the Nayan Davis Scholarship. Um, just a motion for that. And Mrs. Nardolillo. I move to approve the establishment of the May and Davis Scholarship as recommended by the Superintendent of Schools. Thank you. And a second, uh, Mr. Von Dell. Um, any questions or comments? Um, I would only say it's always great to have new scholarships uh, added to the program. I that's it's wonderful and it's it's just such a benefit uh, for our students. So all in favor. Uh, thank you. All right, uh, we're going to go to committee reports. I we just mentioned the audit committee had been rescheduled. Um, uh, Mrs. Nardolillo or Mr. Vondel, do you have anything you might want to say about budget? Uh, I would like to say we have a meeting on Wednesday for anyone who would like to attend. So again, through Zoom platform, and it begins at 7 p.m. All right. All right. Uh, thank you very much. And um, I think that does it for committee reports. We'll go to administrative reports. Mr. Kaur. Yes. Um, so I have the enrollment report for the period ending February 26, 2021. Um, our elementary enrollment 
and this is compared to September 25th, 2020. Um, our enrollment at the elementary level is up 16 students to 3,034. At the junior high level, up to 884. That's an increase of seven. At the high school, up to 2,020 for an increase of 13. Our district, district total is 5,938 students. That's up 36 students since uh, September. Um, we are now, um, our total in-person uh, population is 3,938 at 66%. Our total remote population is 2,000 even at 34%. Um, we were at 75% in September and 25 for uh, in-person and 25% uh, percent total remote at that time. Thank you. Uh, and recognitions? Yes. Um, so uh, we would like to recognize our uh, National Merit Scholarship winners. Um, they, are, uh, they were uh, more than 16,000 students were named in uh, 2020 and they have met all the requirements to qualify for 2021. And seven uh, Shaker High School seniors have been uh, designated as National Merit finalists. Um, they are Lauren Beshaw, uh, Danny Bashayam, uh, Sharon Charles, Sophie Dvorak, uh, Shashank Garg, uh, Vida Natakam, and John Schneider. And um, since these students are finalists, they are being considered for one of the 7,500 National Merit uh, scholarships. These are uh, uh, $2,500 awards, and they are offered on a state representative uh, basis. Um, also, we have we are recognizing um, the achievements, and you may have seen um, our publicity on these for from um, uh, our communications department. We did a video, and uh, you know it was really excellent. But we have three seventh graders. Um, from Shaker uh, Junior High School, um, Sarabi Krishnan, uh, Lucas Zhang, and Surya uh, Bamasani, and they participated um, the in the Future Cities competition, and uh, this team placed second in the region, and they had the Best City to Live In uh, award, the Best City Skyline, and the Best Surveying Practices, and they were second place overall. Um, so, um, we are very appreciative uh, mm -hmm. to them, and we are very appreciative to their parent mentor, Sajatha Kadaba, um, for the wonderful work that was done with those students as well. Um, so, again, um, we are also very um, proud of our uh, uh, artists here in uh, North Colony. Um, we have had... Um, at the NYSADA Legislative Student Art Exhibit... Um, we have from Southgate, William Maxville and Talia Suslak, a grade one student and a grade two student. We have from Forts Ferry, Nicole Roja, a grade one student and um, a grade one student from Forts Ferry, Kennedy Harwood. Um, Addison Brady is a grade three student from Loudonville and Owen uh, Bordick is a grade three student from Loudonville. They were awarded. And um, from Latham Ridge, we have uh, Avery Geiger, a grade three student, and, student, and Lillian Hanley, uh, a grade three student. Um, from North Colony in the remote school, um, we have uh, Sharia Sarath, a grade six student, and Chaman Lee, a grade six student. And um, we have Ryan Church um, and Catherine Simmons. They are grade six students from Shaker Middle School. And uh, two grade eight students, Charlotte Dunkel and Audrey Howell. Um, at the high school, we have Leah uh, Gill, a grade 12 student, Amara, Amara Nazir, a grade 12 student, Nia Browning, a grade 12 student, Maria Gorna, a grade 10 student, Bria Labella, a grade 12 student, Bryn Fecko, a grade 12 student, and Alicia Patel, a grade 11 student. Uh, Rogelio Batista Caras, a grade 11 student, and Lucy Lee, um, a grade 10 student, and Sharuta Kanadi, a grade 12 student. Um, we want to thank all their teachers at the high mm -hmm. school, Lynn Marie Paris, Carrie Lou, Genevieve Chorniak, Kimberly Case, Paul Alban, at the middle school, Ann Manzella, and Mary Lancaster. Um, in our elementary program, Laura Duffy, uh, Jennifer Humans, Catherine Stanley, Shannon Smith, and Mary Beth Aldous. 
And um, also, uh, again, we had a juried regional art exhibit. Um, this was a tremendous uh, exhibit uh, where um, and was hosted by the Albany Center Gallery in downtown Albany. Again, it was sponsored by NASADA. And um, we had um, a lot of our high school students, Saria Alipa, a grade 12 student, uh, Mariana Luna, a grade 12 student, Mary Kate Sullenberg, a grade 11 student, here in Park, a grade 11 student, uh, Joanna James, a grade 11 student, Alicia Patel in grade 11, Lucy Lee, grade 12, Henry Tita, grade 12, uh, Bria Ayabella, grade 12, uh, Tess Cody, grade 12, and um, Rain DeShavo um, mm -hmm. in grade 10, and also Isabella Connell in grade 11. Um, we want to thank Ms. Chorniak, Ms. Liu, uh, Ms. Paris Frangi, um, and uh, Mr. Doolittle for uh, their uh, mentorship of these students. It was wonderful. So thank you. Real out outstanding um, music and art achievements. Um, uh, and uh, our students have done uh, so well uh, during these pandemic times. It just makes us feel good that um, our art and music programs are thriving and our students are able to have that outlet. And uh, so it feels just feels good. So thank you, Mr. Gore. Um, I will uh, move on to business office reports. I'd like a motion to approve the treasurer's report as well as the extra classroom activity fund. Um, Mrs. Nardolillo. I move to approve the treasurer's report for January, January 2021 and the treasurer's report for the extra classroom activity fund for February 2021 as recommended by the assistant superintendent for business. Thank you. And a second, um, uh, Mrs. DeRazio, uh, any questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor. Thank you. I'd like a motion to approve bills and payroll. Uh, bills and payroll have to be approved. Um, Mrs. Mr. Vondell? I move to approve bills and payroll February 2021 as recommended by the Assistant Superintendent for Business. Thank you. And a second? A second. Um, uh, Mrs. Pangburn, any questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor? Thank you. I'd like a motion to approve the investment report. Um, Mrs. Pangburn, you're muted. Sorry about that. I move to approve the investment report January 2021 as recommended by the Assistant Superintendent for Business. Thank you. And a second. Uh, and a second. Mr. Chavo, any questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor? Thank you. I'd like a motion to approve the monthly financial statements. Um, you know, Mr. Vondell. I move to approve the monthly financial statements, January 2021, as recommended by the Assistant Superintendent for Business. Thank you. And a second. Uh, Mrs. Pangburn, any questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor? Thank you. I'd like to, a motion to approve the BOCES bill adjustments. Um, uh, Mrs. Durazio. I move to approve the BOCES bill adjustments February 2021 as recommended by the Assistant Superintendent for Business. Thank you. And a second, uh, Mrs. Pangburn, any questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor? Thank you. I'd like a motion to approve the minutes from the regular um, meeting as well as the budget committee meetings on the 1st and 8th of March. Um, um, Mrs. Pangburn. I move to approve the minutes of the regular meeting of February 22, 2021, and the budget committee meetings of March 1 and March 8, 2021, as recommended by the superintendent of schools. Thank you. And a second. Um, Mr. Johnson, any questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor? Thank you. I'd like a motion to approve the minutes of the budget committee February 25th. Uh, February 25th. Um, Mrs. Durazio. I move to approve the minutes of the budget committee meeting of February 25th, 2021, as recommended by the superintendent of schools. Thank you. And a second, um, uh, Mr. Vondell, 
Any questions or comments? Hearing none, um, all in favor? Opposed? Abstain. Thank you. Um, I'd like a motion to approve the budget committee meeting uh, minutes from March 15th. March 15th. Mrs. Nardoello. I move to approve the minutes of the budget committee meeting of March 15th, 2021, mm -hmm. as recommended by the superintendent of schools. Thank you. In a second, uh, Mr. Johnson, any questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor? Opposed? Abstain. Thank you. Um, I'd like a, a motion to adjourn. Uh, Mrs. Pangburn. I move to adjourn. Thank you. And I would like a second. Um, and uh, we'll take Mr. Cannon. And uh, all in favor. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you all, uh, all of you who attended uh, via Zoom. And we will see you at our budget meeting on uh, a Wednesday. So thank you. And again, have a good rest of the evening. A springy night. All right. Thank you. You too. Thank you, Mrs. Harrison. You're welcome. Thank you, Mrs. Harrison. You're <laughs> thank you, Mrs. Pangburn. Thank you, everybody. Be well.